Let's talk uh, pain hacks now. Simple home remedies to relieve common aches and pains. According to the CDC, an estimated 20.4% of American adults have chronic pain. Best-selling author Dr. Ian Smith has some easy tips. Good morning to you, Doc. Thanks nice for coming to be in. Thanks for having me. First question, I know this is super common. Uh, Ice or heat? Yes, both actually. Ah. So the heat is before you do something strenuous. You want to warm up the muscles. You want to get the blood flow to the area. And then ice is afterward. So you want to make sure you reduce the blood flow. You want to take away some of those inflammatory uh, chemicals away from the site. But remember, you ice for about 15 minutes and then you got to take it off because you, you could also over ice it or go too long a period of time. Uh, let's talk about specific yes. areas of pain. So neck pain. Neck, very common, gets beat up all the time. We don't realize it. One of the things you can do with neck pain, there are different types of neck pain syndrome, so we're just giving some general ideas. This is not to replace your doctor, but one of the things you can do here is take a ball, you can take a massage ball, you can take a tennis ball at home, this is a home hack. Uh, you put it against uh, the side of your neck, you have lots of muscles in there, your scalenes, your trapezius, um, and you apply pressure. You breathe in first and out to get your parasympathetic nervous system going, then you do a nice slow massage, then you take your other hand like so, you bring it out like this, and then you slowly Move your head down, okay? Then you go back up and massage it. Breathe in, out, and then back down. What happens is you're warming up the muscles. You'll actually increase your range of motion. So this is a very easy thing you can do right at home. I like it. Let's talk sciatic pain. Yes. So sciatic pain is very common, more than 3 million cases a year. Uh, basically, it's your, your sciatic is the biggest nerve in your body. Mm -hmm. Runs from your lower back uh, to your legs. So what you want to do is open up the space. So imagine your spinal column is like this. Your sciatic nerve comes in like this. Sometimes there's impingement. This spinal stretch opens up so it frees the space mm -hmm. against your nerve so it opens up. Once again, this is not the answer for everything, but at home, you go from side to side. Usually you have sciatic on one side, mm -hmm. usually not both, but it opens up that space in your lower back. Do you ever Spinal think you'd be stretch. stretching uh, your legs on national television? You're doing great. <laughs> there you go. You're doing great. Uh, so let's talk about uh, a simple home rem remedy for foot pain. Yeah. Let's get on the other uh, side so of your So this is, so just before we get there, though, this is the second part of the, of the uh, oh, it sciatica. Oh, Okay, yes. sorry. So, so the sciatica gives you pain from here to your, to your feet. Sometimes your hamstrings, he's got nice quads, by the way, so it's not his problem, but sometimes your hams get very tight. And so you do a nice, you do dorsiflexion here, you lower your hip on the opposite side, and you just slowly stretch. You don't want to hurt yourself, but slowly stretch to the point where it hurts. That will free up your hamstring, which is one of the results, a tight hamstring as a result of sciatica. Great. Okay. Foot now, pain. Now, our foot pain. So the plantar fascia is a nice fibrous brand that connects your heel to your toes. It's underneath the sole of your foot. And so one way beyond stretching is to actually study show load up pressure. So we have a backpack here oh, wow. to give us some more weight. We can add books uh, or weights as you get better. But you want to go up. Hold it for two seconds, then go all the way down. The, the going down is called the eccentric contraction. And both of those up, slowly, down, it helps strengthen and stretch the plantar fascia, which is that tight band that can cause heel pain underneath the sole of your feet. And as you get better, you add more weight to your backpack because the studies show adding weight can actually help it. Yeah, and a lot of us have anvils at home, so that's convenient. So let's let's talk about uh, uh, a massage we can do for the knee. Yeah, so <clears throat> all kinds of things that cause knee pain. Let me show you real fast. Mm -hmm. So people tend to focus. Oh, you wanted my knee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want uh, your knee. I was confused. <laughs> um, People show, feel knee pain here. However, sometimes it's your quads yes. that are causing yep. it. So one thing you can do is a rhythmic beat. You start t up here, mm -hmm. so you go down here, then you go down to the side. Your wife's okay with this. <laughs> then you go down the side. That's one thing you can do. The other thing is what's called a nice deep gliding motion. Start at top, come all the way down. And you do it coming in the front, the side, and the medial aspect. And this will free up a lot of the pain in the knee because often our, it's our quads that are causing the pain that we're experiencing down here. Doctor, really appreciate it. Great to see you on a Saturday morning. Thanks. Thank you very okay. much. My knee feels better already. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.